Hey up guys, so today's movie that I want to talk about is The Road's Not Taken, which is written and directed by Sally Potter. The story is centred around Leo, who's played by Javier Bardem, a failed writer who now has some form of dementia. He requires assistance with day-to-day -day tasks, and that's essentially what the bulk of the plot is about. His daughter Molly, who's played by Elle Fanning, comes to his apartment and she takes him out for a day of checkups. The dentist, optometrist, with a brief layover at the doctor's as well. Simple enough plot, but but there's more to it than that. Potter divides the focus of the film into three narrative strands, the primary one being Leo's day out with his daughter and all of his appointments. Leo constantly looks like he's in some sort of fugue state, like he's living in his own fantasy. The other two narrative strands suggest to the audience that Leo is envisioning the life that he could have had if he had made different choices. One strand sees him in Mexico with his first love Dolores, who's played by Salma Hayek, and the other sees him living somewhere remote by the sea, trying to finish his novel. We all have those moments where we wonder what our lives could have been like if we had made different choices or taken different paths. The big what-ifs of life, hence the title of this film, The Road's Not Taken. But it's ironic that a film all about life could be such a lifeless watch. I get what Potter was trying to go for, but I found The Road's Not Taken to be flat confusing and devoid of joy. It's competently shot and the acting is sublime, but I don't think Potter painted a clear enough picture. For starters, the narrative strand involving Salma Hayek was confusing. I wasn't sure if this was intended to be a flashback to when Leo was younger, or if it was actually a different life if Leo had chosen to stay with Dolores. Then there's the other narrative strand where Leo is trying to be a writer and there's this little speech that he gives about the novel that he's writing and it spoon feeds the message of the movie to the audience. In my story, a man sets off on a long voyage and overcomes one obstacle after another. He has to decide to continue his life in exile or to come back home. It's just very cliched. Yes, life is a voyage and we all encounter obstacles along the way. That is life. It's just not very nuanced. Also, the content of Potter's script is quite bleak. It's one day of relentless despair for both Leo and Molly. Things going wrong, misunderstandings, people treating Leo like he's not even a person. It's a bit of a downer of a story. I mean, all credit to Potter for sticking to her convictions, but a drop of hope every now and then can go a long way. The ending of the film has a moment between Leo and Molly which is meant to be catharsis for the audience, but it's then undercut by the very last shot of the film. It's a little bit of a spoiler, so I won't say what it is, but it involves two choices for Molly and the execution of it is a bit on the nose. We all make choices, heck this movie is all about life and the choices that we make, but Sally Potter, that final shot was a choice. In the end guys, The Road's Not Taken features some top-notch performances from Javier Bardem and Elle Fanning. They deliver touching, sensitive performances, However, their talents are wasted on this wishy-washy script. Salma Hayek and Laura Linney are also great, even though they have a very small amount of material. But despite the fantastic talent which this film boasts, I still found this film to be very underwhelming. It's only 90 minutes, this film, and I still felt it was a bit of a slog. And by the end, when it's all supposed to come together, it isn't rewarding. It's still quite muddled. So let's ask them three questions. Firstly, would I watch this again? No, this is just a one-time watch. Second question, do I recommend it for you guys? Sorry, it's another no. The lack of joy makes it a joyless watch, so no, I wouldn't recommend it to family or friends, so I'm not gonna recommend it for you either. And question number three, what score do I give it out of 10? The Road's Not Taken is salvaged by some committed performances from Javi Bardem and Elle Fanning, However, it is a bit of a wet rag of a film and I didn't really enjoy it, so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. But as always guys, this is just one bloke's opinion. I want to hear from you. Have you guys seen The Road's Not Taken? What did you make of it? Whatever your thoughts and opinions, be sure to let your voice be heard in that comment section down below. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button. If you want more movie and TV content just like this, don't forget to click subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, it's all in that video description down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Airfield, and I'll see you next time.